<clears throat> okay guys, so I am once again trying out the GoPro Hero 5 to do some of this filming and just seeing how it overall performs. And so apologies if it's not the best. And if it is great, then awesome. <clears throat> Anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a video that I've actually been waiting quite a while to do. And that's because the kind of test, um, like the, the test and evaluation experience takes a while on this. But actually, as any good evil mad scientist has quite a backstory, this test video does have quite a bit of a backstory too. But I'll make it abbreviated. So before we jump into this, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to let me know if you guys like seeing more content like this, or if you guys want to see something else. <clears throat> so anyways, last fall I actually had this wild idea uh, to kind of test two different brands against each other of boots. Of course, this video is about boots, so uh, just as a quick disclaimer, but I wanted to, because I had gotten these Knicks because my original pair of Danners had been pretty much destroyed because I put three years of really hard use, lots of hiking, lots of even running into them. They were pretty much toast and they were falling apart and that was pretty reasonable. I put a lot of mileage on those puppies before they gave out. <clears throat> so anyways, <coughs> that's where I got my Knicks from. But last fall I had the idea that I wanted to get another pair of Danners because one, these are horrible winter boots and so I wanted something that was not quite as extreme as my Mucklucks but something <clears throat> that something that could EDC wear to a place like college that wasn't something as extreme as my Mucklucks. So that's kind of part of the reason why I got these. Uh, these are Danner Tachyons but another reason I got them is I wanted to test which is an ultimately better boot because <clears throat> what kind of dawned on me and it's a little bit of a hindsight kind of thing is that these boots right here are 400 plus dollars they're actually closer to 500 dollars and every time you resole them it's around 200 dollars to resole this pair of boots and for the same price these are 111 or not for the same price but yeah these are 111 dollars so <clears throat> just off the get-go you could buy pretty much four pairs of these boots for just this pair of boots and then on top of that you could buy like a pair and three quarters of these boots every time you resold these boots so that got me thinking about boots and which is truly better. So I went ahead and got this pair of Danner Tachyons. I got them in awesome tan because I love tan. And I've been running around in these and these now that it's summer and it's not winter. And I've been just kind of evaluating, seeing what's better and honestly, which way I should go in the future when both of these pairs wear out. Should I go back to Danner full time and ditch the Knicks? Or should I keep the Knicks, resole them, and take care of them? So the way I've broken this test down is kind of into three different areas. And that's <clears throat> the EDC boot, or the EDC boot, the outdoors boot, the bushcrafting, kind of survival, going out in the woods, and hiking, and the riding boot. Because another quite large component to this channel, and it's not quite fully realized, but will be soon enough, is that there's going to be a lot of horse riding, and there's going to be a bit more horse uh, different things with the channel. So I wanted to have this in three different kind of areas. So firstly, as an EDC boot, to keep this, like I said, abbreviated for you guys, uh, no doubt about it, these are the superior boot. These are actually what I wear to work, and I've tried to wear these to work, and <clears throat> these are what I wear um, pretty much when I was going to college, this is, well, I still go to college, but anyways, in college, in work, in my everyday life, I wear these Danner Tachyons. And the reason why I don't wear the Knicks is that one thing about the Knicks, they're really great boots if you're moving in them. <clears throat> if you're moving and you're hiking and you're constantly in motion, these are actually pretty comfortable boots. But for me, I do in my workplace and obviously in college and in <clears throat> everyday life, I do a lot of 
sitting around and also standing. I do a lot, hours and hours and hours of just standing, which is pretty healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you stand with these boots, they will kill your back. They seriously hurt. I worked one day. I just decided to wear these one day for work. <coughs> and I was standing the majority of the day. When I came home, I was in a lot of pain because I was like, oh my goodness, my feet and my back hurt because these are very uncomfortable to wear when you're standing. Whereas I wear these every day to work and they're just fine, they're very comfortable. And ultimately they feel like you're wearing a sneaker as opposed to wearing a boot. So <clears throat> hands down, the Danner Tachyons and most Danner boots beat the Knicks in an everyday capacity, which for me is really important because I am an outdoorsman. Once again, I like to ride horses. I like to go hiking, bushcrafting, hunting. But unfortunately, that's for me more of a recreation, not a lifestyle. I think for people like uh, Wrangler Star, they're blessed because their recreation is their lifestyle. And so, like, if that is the case for you, or if you're a professional logger, if you're a professional firefighter, the Knicks are definitely where it's at for you. But if your everyday carry, or if your everyday life is like mine, where, you know, you work, you know, a job where it's like in a store, you don't really work outside, and, you know, you go to college or you go to school, you know, then the Danner Tachyon makes a lot more sense to me. And so now jumping into the next category is outdoors or bushcrafting, hiking, hunting, that kind of thing. And in this, it's a real kind of tie for me because there's elements that these excel at and there's elements that these are better at, but there's also elements that these are better at. And so in certain terrains and landscapes, these are better. These are a lot better than going uphill because they're very stiff, so you can kind of actually dig into the mountainside that you're climbing up, whereas these are very uh, soft and flexible. However, these have a lot better track pattern, so you guys can see it's, it's a dirty, it's like a practical real life kind of boot, you guys can see there, but you can see, I'll grab a couple of these, and obviously these are real life boots, so there's like crud and schmoo on the bottom of them, but you guys can see there, uh, the track pattern, there's no doubt about it. The track pattern is significantly better on the Danner. That's because you have dozens of these hexagons. And what I like about the hexagon uh, shape for the boot is that <clears throat> because, and both of these are truly worn, as you guys can kind of see, but when your track pattern wears down and you kind of have like these stars, those stars with their little tips tend to wear off. Whereas the hexagons, as they wear, they are still very capable, very grippy, very traction. They have a lot of traction to them still. So these are probably good for at least another year. And so, <clears throat> in my current rate of use. So, you know, there's these have a great traction. These don't have that great of a traction. But these are a little bit better going uphill because they're stiff. Also, these are pretty good for going over hard kind of like things, like going over trees, if you're in rough conditions or rough territory, uh, because these things are so stiff, when you hit up against something, you're not gonna feel it. These are really stiff leather on here. So, you know, if something comes down, it's not like a steel-toed boot. So, you know, obviously to a degree, it's not that as good, but you know, it's really stiff, it's really hard and overall it's a really stiff boot so going over hard terrain and going over rough country these are a superior boot <clears throat> so these not as good because you can see way more flex you're kind of hitting it and you guys can see how it flexes same hit here no flex whatsoever <clears throat> however these have a greater traction so for me it's kind of a tie depends more on what i'm doing so then moving over to the riding boot. Now, no doubt about it, if you know anything about horseback riding, these are actually more of a horseback riding boot. This is kind of what you want, especially if you're a Western, obviously English, they use different, but this is more like a Western style. <clears throat> In fact, the only thing this is really missing for this to be a true Western uh, riding boot is something that I actually could have because NYX does do it, uh, but this <clears throat> should have had a, a uh, what is it? 
Sorry, I had to remember there for a moment, but it is a um, spur, uh, it's a spur, I'm trying to remember what they call it, but there's usually a little bit of, if you have it custom ordered to that, there's a little bit of a cut in the boot back here uh, for a spur to sit on. So you can have that cut into the boot, that would make it an even more traditional riding boot, but this very stiff shape, this very hardy kind of shape of boot is very good for western style riding and I do actually a fair chunk of western and cavalry which is similar to western it's kind of like a mix of western and uh, English but it's kind of a mix of it but anyways these boots work really well for riding they're also because they have such a pronounced back to them you guys can see how this kind of has a flat um, heel to it this has a very pronounced heel when you because generally with our horses, you don't use spurs anyways. Uh, but <clears throat> when you put your heel into the horse, not very hard, but you know, just enough to kind of tap him, make sure that he understands or he or she knows where you're directing him. This really pronounced heel digs into the animal better, not in a painful way, but just in a kind of like, oh, the horse, you know, like, oh, the rider wants me to move this way or that way. So it's better for riding. These are really great riding boots, I will say, and they look a lot like trad traditional styled Western boots for riding. So they hands down win in riding, for sure. So you can kind of see that each of these boots has their own way and I think the primary, the primary marketer for Nick's boots, especially on YouTube, has been Wrangler Star. And some people don't like him. I don't really mind Wrangler Star. Um, but one big thing for me is that I think when I got these boots, I was like, oh, I'm an outdoorsman just like him. But he, people like Wrangler Star, they kind of live outside every single day. For them, my type of lifestyle and their type of lifestyle are very different because he lives out on a homestead every single day. That is what he does. So for him, it makes more sense to have a type of boot that's very thick, very heavy duty like this. It's designed for rough country and that's where you live if you're a homesteader basically. Whereas these boots are meant more for kind of EDC, you know, that kind of daily life in the city plus at the same time they can be also good for hiking they can be good for hunting they can be useful for <clears throat> many different tasks they're kind of like an all-arounder so ultimately at the end of the day uh what i have to say like my ultimatum truly between danner and nicks uh like when it's time to buy my next pair i'm definitely going to be buying danners because they fit my lifestyle a lot better uh, especially in the winter, but just in general, they fit my lifestyle way better than the Knicks do. However, I am also going to keep the Knicks around because one, I paid a lot of money for these things, and I'm just going to throw them away. They're custom made to my feet, and once again, because I have horse riding a lot, there's going to be a lot more prevalence in horse riding in the channel. I'm going to be keeping these around primarily, though, just for horseback riding. <clears throat> I don't really intend to even bushcraft with my NYX boots because these are far more comfortable uh, to wear throughout the day and once again they give me a greater traction and in all honesty uh, a lot of the places where I bushcraft like where I currently bushcraft you guys see a lot of videos are is a very marshy land so in all truth be told I don't wear either of these boots when I go out there most of the time I'm actually just wearing uh, water boots my good old water boots when I go out there so <clears throat> there's really no reason to have these NYX boots for bushcraft because I'm going to be either using these or like I said my water boots and for EDC I can definitely be using these and so I really only use these for horseback riding but anyways that's kind of what I had or that's kind of what I've been working on and that's the ultimate conclusion to my test between these two pairs of boots I think Danners, personally in my lifestyle, are a better buy. <clears throat> now I will say, if you are something like a firefighter or a homesteader, it would be smarter to buy Nick's boots because I can see where people talk. And if you live that type of extreme lifestyle where you're really pounding on your boots, you're not going to get a super long life out of these boots. Where me, I'm more of a moderate user of boots. Like, I'm not, you know, going out there 
on fire patrols. I'm not spending, you know, 20 hours out of 24 hours a day in my boots. So if you do live that type of lifestyle, if you're on patrol, if you're serious military, I would probably recommend checking out NYX because they're going to be a more sturdy boot than the Danners. But for me, <clears throat> when I look at it, it makes more sense to buy a $100 pair of boots uh, over this $400 pair of boots for my given lifestyle. Anyways, guys, it's been a little bit of a longer video, but there's a lot more information to cover in this video. So I wanted to make sure that I made it as clear as possible and kind of distinguish and highlight the parts that the Knicks are good at and the Danners because th these Knicks at the end of the day are still good boots, just not really for my lifestyle. Anyways, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video and hopefully it hasn't been too boring. Anyways, God bless.